Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR diecast haul. Now we have two boxes, one envelope, and two already out of the packages diecast here for you today. Now the reason the all-star diecasts are out of the packages is because simply there was no packaging. We just found that at Walmart, so I wasn't going to box it up and pretend like I didn't know what was in it. So yeah, th that's what's there. Speaking of knowing what's in what, that big box back there, you see that big old box right there in the very back? I do know what's in that. It's because I was told what was going to be in there. That was sent uh, by a good friend of mine. I just talk, started talking to him about, I don't know, a month and a half, two months ago. He's actually a pretty cool guy. We'll talk, we'll talk about NASCAR a lot. So yeah, very nice guy. If I can remember, I'll try to link his Instagram in the description. I may not be able to because, again, I might forget. But I will promise that I will try my best. But we got two packages that we don't know what's in it. And I am definitely excited. So we're going to first look at the two authentic diecasts that we already have. We're just going to get, take a little bit of a closer look on those. Uh, because simply, uh, we, just, we haven't seen the Jimmy Johnson yet. That was released in the Gold Series, but we did not get that. But we did get the Chase Elliott in the Gold Series. Or not the Gold Series. Well, yeah, that too, technically. But we got the race version in the Gold Series. And we got the Authentics already. So I have two. I have two for a good reason. I'm going to keep one in the package. I think it's a very special uh, scheme because, again, Elliot did win in that scheme, and they did not produce the standard scheme in the Gold Series, so I feel like it'd be pretty good to have it in the package in Authentics. So with that being said, let's take a closer look at what we got today. So first up, boom, check this guy out right here. Chase Elliott, again, in the number 9 Unifirst All-Star Paint Scheme. This is the standard... What is that? What is all over the packaging? Hold on a minute. I'm trying to see what this is. I don't know. It had to be bought like that. I don't know. Just like there's stuff all over the packaging. That was weird. Huh. I don't know. That was kind of odd. But it's off, so it's nothing permanent, so that's good. But yeah, we got the Chase Light number 9. Let me see if I can get some better lighting here, because I had to scoot it all the way back just for uh, to fit all that stuff in frame. So you got the number 9 right there, the Unifirst. I don't mind this paint scheme with the Authentics, or not the Authentics, but with the uh, All-Star. But, you know, still, it's it's not amazing, because just due to the number placement. But that is all the die casts we got in that wave, and I do believe we got every single one of those. I did not get any of the ones in the Gold Series, uh, in this wave at least. I did get Bowman's and Justin Haley's, but that was the only two I got in the Gold Series. That was from the Authentics, or not the Authentics, but from the uh, All-Star. I keep calling it Authentics for whatever reason. But yeah, I got the NASCAR All-Star Race right there. Uh, Bristol 2020. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, we did get Duplicate right here. We got the uh, number 9 for Chase Elliott. So, we did get the Jimmy Johnson. Of course, that is right here as well. Again, we did not pick that up in the Gold Series, so we picked it. We was able to pick it up in the Authentics line. Which is a good thing. I am, I'm, honestly, I'm kind of glad they did the All-Star Wave. Only because I did kind of want the All-Star schemes. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want to spend, you know, seven, eight, nine dollars on one, you know, gold series for something I'm not going to thoroughly enjoy as much as I do, you know, every other diecast that I have. So it was cool to see it in the Authentics line. We got the Ally number 48 right there. All kinds of, uh, well, not all kinds of changes, but there's a small change right there. Of course, you got the 48 in the Ally. And looks like we got a uh, HendrickCars.com right there above that. So yeah. Pretty nice paint scheme, uh, pretty cool little sticker as well. I wish they were magnets, but they're not. They're stickers, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, got two brand new Authentics right here for the All-Star Race. Well, not the All-Star, well, yeah, technically the All-Star Race. But what I plan to do with these is, I've, I've mentioned this a little bit before, but I've planned to have like a one-off LWCS scheme, or not scheme, but race, where, you know, they'll, they'll run the All-Star schemes and stuff like that. But I mean, who knows? Only time will tell. Next up is going to be a very small eBay envelope, so we'll open up this bad boy right here. We shouldn't need a knife, we should just be able to rip this bad boy right open. Yes sir, we did. Oh, look at this, I forgot I ordered this actually. But I've been looking for this die cast forever, so take a look at the- oh, it's taped, okay, hold on. Uh, but blah, 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 let's see if I can get this off. I haven't seen that tape in forever. It's like, it's not like the clear tape, but it's the, uh, the, like the foggy tape, so let's see. There we go. But yeah, I haven't seen this die cast in forever, and I've been wanting it for a very, very long time. But look at that. This is Brad Kozlowski's number 88 uh, Navy Chevy. Was that? Monte, yeah, Monte Carlo. This is from, a, I believe it was the Bush series. I'm telling you, I have looked for this die cast forever, and that's the great thing about eBay. I looked on eBay. I didn't even look for the die cast. I was just scrolling through like hundreds of pages of NASCAR die cast, you know, just simply just that, and I found this, and I'm like, wow. All right, that's pretty cool. 
Also, if you remember, I did a diecast review, or at least I think I did a diecast review, of a throwback diecast I made for my cup team in the LWCS, you know, Little Wrangler Cup Series, that is my stop motion series, and it raced for Wrangler Racing Motorsports, or WRM. And at the time, his name was NASCAR Lover 2017 or 2019, whatever his name was at the time. But yeah, look at this. We had the throwback to that diecast, and look how awful this diecast is, right? Now, this was right before I started with decals. This was, like, probably one of the last custom diecasts I made with paper. And, uh, thank God I switched to decal, because look at that. It looks terrible. It's all blocky. It doesn't even fit all the way. But, yeah, he ran a 36, and he ran this throwback to, of course, Brad Keselowski. And, also, fun fact, Brad Keselowski is my second favorite cup driver currently. Of course, Bowman is first, and then, of course, you got Brad Keselowski, which is second. So... Yeah, let's take a, take a look at that, what we got right here. So, we got two awesome brand new NASCAR Authentics and a very, very old school, I think it's like, what, 2002? Maybe 2004? 2000, I, I want to say like 2002. I'll have to do my research on that. But yeah, we got a Brad Keselowski Navy in the 88. Now, I used to have that a long time ago. I might just have to find that diecast again because that's why I re-bought it was because I always loved that scheme. But at the same time, it's like, you know, being a kid... You don't really care with what you do. So I may or may not have had destroyed that die cast. But yeah, we got three awesome brand new. Well, not brand new, but three new. It's brand new to me, okay? Got three awesome die casts right here. Uh, so far, we still got a box and the other box to go. So we got the small box first. Then we'll get to the big boy, which I'll probably have to unbox uh, off, off camera. Because it is way too big to fit in frame. And we got this box right here. I actually might have to... Scoot back a little bit for you guys to see this. I can only get it so much. So, we got to take the good old knife right here, the good old blade, and kind of cut into this and see what we have. So, yeah, pretty awesome die cast so far. Uh, again, we did get the two from Walmart, and then we got the one from eBay. And we got a lot more coming, so you might want to stay tuned if you like some die cast. This looks like we got some uh, paper right here. I don't really know what it looks like, some newspaper or something. Oh, here it is right here, out of the box. So, oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> I forgot I ordered this. So, this is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s number 88, Diet Mountain Dew. Now, you may be wondering, didn't you just get this in, like, one of the other die-cast hauls? Yeah, you're right, but it was a different year. So, this was 2015, right? So, in the previous die-cast haul, I don't, I don't know if it was the previous, I think it was, but in one of the die-cast hauls, I'm pretty sure it was the very last one we did before this one, I remember saying I thought that 2014 was the final year for this paint scheme. Somebody corrected me in the comments. I believe it was Logan from the racing series, or from the uh, McDonald's Cup series on NASCAR Heat 5 from the PlayStation, right? You know, the series we do on here on the channel. So, I believe he told me, hey, this is actually 2015 is when it last ran, because there was that big controversy. The, from that final wreck where Logano ended up winning the race, and Dell Jr. could have easily got that win. Now, this guy dominated that Talladega race. So, I, re I went and rewatched that entire freaking race. The entire race. After I know that, or after I was uh, informed on that. So, I'm like, okay. I want to get the 2015 one, because I happen to see it on eBay as well. So, I'm like, alright. I might just, uh, might have to make a little custom, right? And by custom, I mean, I might just uh, switch out the banner and, you know, put the yellow on the spoiler and splitter and stuff like that. I don't know if I'll turn it into a race version. I probably don't want to as a junior fan for him to have an easy win, you know, like this. But, I mean, hey, yeah, I mean, you never know. It could have just been something that could have easily been happened. Like, you know, he could have easily won that race. But again, Junior did amazing at that Talladega race. He dominated the entire field and actually took a lot of notes to kind of have for that diecast review. So yeah, look forward to this on the channel very, very soon. I have a 2014 and a 2015. I, I thought I saw a 2013 as well, but I have a few uh, over on my shelf as well. So either way, I think I have the 2013 one already. But I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. So we got four awesome diecasts right here. We got one more box to kind of go through. And this one's a little bit special. So we'll go ahead and uh, open this one up. Again, this is going to have to be off camera just simply because it is so huge. So let's uh, open this bad boy right here. Cut her open. So there is supposed to be one die cast and something else a little special in here as well. Oh, I hit my uh, camera. Let me focus you on that. There we go. So currently cutting down the center. All right, the box is open now. Right here, we got another NASCAR Authentics, and this is Austin Dillon's number three 2020 Bass Pro Shop. So yeah, very awesome diecast. We will be doing a diecast review on that, and I think we have another one coming in the mail as well. 
And you know what that means, custom Texas race version from Austin Dillon. That is going to be coming to the channel very, very soon, so look out for that. And uh, we also have a flag. It's very, very, very hard to tell because the flag's so big. I guess I'm going to have to, uh, well, I don't know, like lay it on my bed or something and get a picture. But, yeah, we do have this huge flag right here. It's a Hendrick Motorsports flag from, like, I don't know, 2009, I want to say. Maybe. It's got amp on it, so, yeah, somewhere around there. I'll show you this, though. That's... This is what I have so far. That's all I can see right now. So, yeah, we definitely got a huge flag right here. So, thank you, man. I will uh, leave your stuff down in the description. I, I don't know what your tag is right off my head. But, yeah, we do have that in here as well. I will get a picture somehow, some way, so you guys can see that. But, for the die cast, let's see if we can kind of get a good uh, little angle right here. little curt angle action. So, let's kind of scoot this over right there and put these right in front. So... Yeah, I think we had a pretty darn good die cast haul today. Again, we got a whole lot more coming, trust me. I ordered like seven or eight things off eBay like within the past couple of days. So uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be loaded, trust me. But also, with that being said, this might just be the end of this die cast haul. Now, once again, we got a whole bunch of die cast reviews coming out, so be well on the lookout for those. And also I did miss Wednesday's upload. Wednesdays? When yeah, Wednesday. Why, why did I thought, like I said, did I say that weird or was that just me? I don't know. Wednesday's die cast reviews, I did miss those because I was fishing and then I got home and I completely crashed. I was just like, nope, I'm going to bed. Well, no, that's a lie because we got home, we I paid for pizza from Pizza Hut and we went, we went and got pizza, we ate the pizza and then we crashed. So yeah, that's, that was, that was my night. So it was a... I was pretty busy. I was barely home, and when I was home, I was stuffing my face with stuffed crust pizza. So, yeah, that, that uh, yeah, that was a pretty eventful day. So, you know, you know, what it, it is what it is. It's fine. It's whatever. But I'm gonna try to put three uploads today. So it's going to be this diecast review, or not diecast review, but but this diecast haul, right? And then we're going to have the Trump 2020 LaJoy diecast, and we're going to have the uh, Texas crash from Dell Jr. from 2014. That will also be. Uh, reviewed and then next uh, tomorrow we'll have the Elliott Sadler throwback you know from Kyle Busch and then we're going to have a Martinsville win from Dell Jr. and then we'll probably have the number 47 back the blue from the Xfinity series that throwback as well so yeah we got a lot of interesting die casts to uh, kind of review and of course we got these bad boys right here every one of these die casts will be reviewed on the channel very very shortly now it might take a little bit you know just to kind of get to these die casts because I'm probably going to uh, review the custom, or not the custom diecast, but the diecast I'm going to make a custom out of first. So I think uh, next week I'm going to upload the Dell Jr. 2009 National Guard 164 and 124, and then we're going to uh, upload the 2012 Jeff Gordon Drive to End Hunger. That's like three uploads right there. And then we're probably going to uh, review this Austin Dillon. We might review, uh, I don't know, the Jimmy Johnson. But for actual customs, I've only got one more that I've made that I have not reviewed quite yet. So again, we got a lot of diecast reviews coming, so please stay tuned. You do not want to miss it. And with that being said, that will be all for this diecast haul. So thank you all so much for watching this diecast haul. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Upside down.